Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. Next, we're going to talk about some of the reactions that aromatic compounds like benzene can undergo. Now, remember, benzene and other aromatic compounds have a very special stabilization called aromatic resonance. And for that reason, we're not going to have ordinary reactions like an alkene might have. So for an alkene, we saw that you could do an addition reaction where you break the pi bond. If you were to react with HBr, for example, you break the pi bond, you add a hydrogen and a bromine across the pi bond. Well, this reaction does not happen. <clears throat> this is not formed. And the reason this is an unfavorable reaction is by losing one of those pi bonds, you would lose aromaticity. And that would be quite unfavorable. So instead, the reactions that benzene undergoes, and, and uh, starting materials like benzene, we have substitution reactions occurring instead. So <clears throat> we have a benzene ring, we reacted with bromine, and where we used to have a hydrogen, we now end up with a bromine. And this is a favorable reaction because it is still aromatic. And that's going to be typical of the reactions that we see in this lesson. We're going to see substitution reactions. And at the end of that reaction, we're still going to have our benzene ring intact. The most significant reaction we're going to spend most of our time is this one called the electrophilic aromatic substitution. It's called that because we're reacting the benzene ring with an electrophile. We're just going to call it an E plus for, for now. Uh, and then eventually we'll see what electrophiles we can add in this fashion, what the actual structure of that positively charged species is. But what happens is we take a benzene ring, we react it with E plus, and we uh, end up with an electrophile attached onto the ring. So again, it's a substitution reaction because we substitute an E plus for an H plus. So we remove a proton and uh, in its place we have an electrophile. <clears throat> now, this is a two-step mechanism. And uh, the very first step is addition of the electrophile. Now, we, we just said how unreactive benzene is and how much it, um, it, it wants to have this aromatic stabilization. So this has to be a very, very special reactive electrophile. We're going we're gonna to talk about what reaction conditions are needed to, um, to initiate this reaction. Okay, but if we do have a, an appropriately reactive electrophile, what can happen is one of, the one of the pi bonds in benzene can act as a nucleophile and the electrophile can add to it. Now if I break that bond and react with an electrophile, much like if I protonated a pi bond, I'm going to get a positive charge on the ring. I'll get a carbocation intermediate. Now this carbocation is allylic, so it will always have resonance stabilization. And in fact, it's still allylic. I'll be able to use both of these pi bonds and I'll always have these three resonance forms for this carbocation intermediate. <clears throat> now, this is a very difficult step. This is a slow, a slow step. What's the problem with this step? Not only are we you know, forming a carbocation, which we know is a high energy intermediate, but we're starting at such a stable, stable, low energy state um, because it's aromatic that it's an even further reach. So it's a very difficult step because we lose aromaticity. So this is difficult to happen, but if that electrophile is reactive enough, it's going to happen. Okay, and then um, another thing we can note is that in the intermediate that we have, the positive charge is always going to be either ortho or para to the carbon that added the electrophile. So here's our electrophile. The positive charge is either in the ortho position or the para position or the other ortho position. And again, that pattern will always be true. So that's going to help us be able to draw this mechanism and know we're doing the right thing. Okay, that's our first step in the mechanism. The second step in the mechanism is deprotonate. Remember doing a substitution. So first we add the E plus and then we remove the H plus. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a base. Any base will do. Um, let's just use B dot dot. And we're going to go after the proton that is on the same carbon as the electrophile, because remember, that's where we're doing the substitution. And we're going to grab that proton. These two electrons are going to go fill in that vacancy of the carbocation. And let's take a look at the product we get. We get our product. We get our benzene ring with the electrophile attached to it. So this now 
the first step was the rate determining step. This step is super easy. That's why you could use any base at all. Super easy, really fast. What's so great about this second step? Well, not only do we fill this octet and get rid of the carbocation, but in this, at the same time, we gain our aromaticity. We regain that. So any step that gains aromaticity is going to be a really downhill race and, uh, and a very fast step.